Jesus Christ is the only God, the only way and the only truth. You have to get to know Him because you can get to know Him. Guys, just stop and listen right now. There is only one way that leads you to eternal life. And this is somebody that is eternal life himself. His name is Jesus. And he died on the cross for you personally. When he was dying on the cross, he saw your eyes. He saw you. He knew your name. Back then, when he was just on this cross, he absorbed all of your sin, all of your sicknesses, all the condemnation that was ever on you. You can be free today because freedom came and comes from the cross. But if you do not accept Jesus to your life personally, everything that happened on the cross will not help you. This is a very simple and very good news that Jesus did everything for you before you could do anything for him. And just listen with your heart right now. I'm just talking to your heart directly. Listen, God is super interested in your life. He's interested in you. He's not interested in what you can do for Him. He's interested in your heart. Bible says that Jesus, Bible says, Jesus says in Bible, I do not want your, um, your sacrifices. I want your love. But you know what? How can you love God that you don't know? How could you even love somebody that you don't know? You have to give somebody a chance to get to know if you love them or not, right? Just approach Jesus today. Tell him, I want to meet you. Give him a chance and let him show you who he is, what he is, how he is, what he does how he does it. I'm telling you, you will never regret it. Never. You will fall in love with him. Because this is what you do when you meet real God, the only God. You fell in love with him big time. You do. Because this is the only real reaction to meeting real God. And real God is not evil God. Real Jesus is not making people die. Real Jesus, real God is not letting you suffer. It doesn't come from Him. Every bad stuff that ever comes to us is from Satan. But I have a good news for you. If you accept Jesus and if you call Him your Lord, your Savior, your God, your personal God, if you believe in Him, everything that Satan does today in the world will not be even able to touch you. But you know what you will be touching? You will be touching God's heart. And He will touch yours. He touched my heart. Jesus touched my heart. And you know what? I know what it means to know God because I know Him. I'm still getting to know Him better. But what I'm talking about is a meeting with God. A loving meeting. It's not a street meeting in which you just like sit all stressed and tense. No, this is a meeting when you look into Jesus' eyes, the eyes of the God himself, and you feel just how much he loves you. And you know what your first reaction would be? I'm not enough for that. I'm not good enough to even approach him a bit. But Jesus forgave all of your sins so you don't have to think if you're good enough or not. Just think about Him and just ask yourself a question that He's asking you. Do you want to meet me? Do you want to know me? What do you want me to do for you? This is a eternal God's question. What do you want me to do for you? Because I want to do for you. You know, this is your personal God. But it's not enough to just believe in God. Because he has to start living in you. And I let God start living in me. I am a apartment of Jesus. He lives in me. I know him. I'm connected with him. You can be connected with God today. 
This is such a great news. Guys, listen with your heart. Seriously. This is not some strict rules, going to church, whatever. This is relationship. This is connection on the deepest level. God is so interested in you. He gave his life for you. We think that they killed him. And I have a news for you. No, they didn't kill him. He gave his life. Because what? You cannot kill God. Because God has to give his life for somebody. Because he is somebody that cannot be defeated. How could you possibly defeat Almighty God? Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only truth. He. He. Only He is the one. He is worthy of getting to know Him. He is worthy of all, all the praise and all the glory that you could possibly give Him. Jesus is. It's not about you and what you can do. It's about Him. It's not about what you ever did or, or anything that you will ever do. It's about what Jesus did on the cross for you personally. Seeing your face, your eyes, getting to, like He, knowing your name on the cross. Back then, back then, like 2,000 years ago, He knew you. He knew that He will have to do that for you. There is no other way, so just call to Jesus. Say, God, I want you in my life. I know you forgave my sins. I know you resurrected. I want you in my life. And you will resurrect yourself. You will start living for the first time. Because what you have right now is not life. Life is Jesus.